Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a review on the GANS 356. You can buy, you can purchase this on the cubicle or buy it, I mean they're the same thing. You can purchase or buy it at the cubicle.us um, and I think you can now take it, uh, buy it at Light Take now. I saw they had some post about it on Facebook. So yeah, you can check it out there. I'll just leave a link in the description for where you can buy it in the below. And let's just get started. So I'm going to do a quick size comparison real quickly. Um, this is a 55 millimeter, if I can get the stickers correct. This is a 55 millimeter Zenchi on here, and this is a Yuxin 3x3, my main. As you can see, it's right in between uh, these two. Uh, this is a 55, the Gans 356, which is 56, and this is the Yuxin 3x3. So it's not much bigger or smaller than the 55 millimeter Zenchi or the Yuxin. Uh, so the turning on here, I'm just going to do some turns just to show you. So the turning on this cube is very, very, very good, I think. Um, it has a very crisp feel, I'd say, along with um, a slight, slight smooth feel. Uh, and that's a feeling I really enjoy a lot. It's also very fast. Um, even when I slowed it down with some weight 4, like I put a bunch of lube in here, it still retains a very fast feel. But it still, and still maintains that very um, nice, smooth, mixed with a crispy feel. And the stickers on here, these aren't mine, these are, uh, actually these are Daniel's. Um, I got this cube at Peach State from Daniel's, so thank you if you're watching. Uh, actually they're really nice. It's probably the only reason why I'm, motiv I'm motivated to use this cube, because the stickers are really nice, and I just like turning it. Um, so yeah, uh, nice stickers actually. I'm probably going to get a set if I even know what shades they are. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, the corner cutting on this cube is around around here I'd say. It cuts 45 but anything past there, as you can see, doesn't really cut. 45, it can kind of cut. Uh, my tensions are medium so they're not exactly loose, but if they're looser they can cut 45, but it does cause some locking, which I'll talk about later. And the reverse cutting is pretty good. Cut around almost a piece. It's actually really good, see? It just cuts the other way. So the reverse cutting on here is actually really, really good. Um, so what the problems on this cube are, I find, is the locking. Uh, just like every other Gans puzzle that's ever existed, they always lock like crazy. Um, these pieces right here, these corners, um, they tend to catch under the centerpiece. But I modded them like the cubologist did, and I just took a nail file and a drum roll and just sanded underneath here, um, underneath the corner, to um, get rid of some of the plastic so it'll stop locking on the center. Uh, and he has a video on that, so I'll actually link that in the description, and he'll show you what the pieces should look like when modded. And I think that's a pretty good guideline. So. It it actually with the without the mod it feels or with the mod it feels a lot better. Um, it doesn't lock as much. It definitely makes the cube usable and speed solvable. Before I barely could use it. I could barely finish an average of five with it without just being like, why am I using this cube? But now it turns really really nice um, and it re now doesn't really lock up as much, but it still does unfortunately. And the cube overall I just think feels unstable. Um, as you can see, it just kind of wobbles. I really don't like that about a cube. Uh, most cubes are now like that, but I, I really don't like those type of cubes. Uh, Yuxin doesn't really do that as much, as you can see. Um, and yeah, it just locks up, and I just don't like the overall type of jumbling kind of thing it does, or the locking it does, and the lockup it has. And it really actually costs me my times because with this cube, I average literally a second uh, higher on this cube, meaning I usually average 12, 13. I average around 14, 15 with this cube. Uh, it's really bad. 
so I don't like using this cube actually the cube makes me have really bad times um, overall though the cube is I think good but you just need I think it's for accurate turners uh, for me this cube is just not for me it's more for accurate turners uh, I've got the cube for collection and plus the sticker shades look nice so yeah it makes the cube actually look cool so I'm just gonna do some solves real quickly I'll do another one. As you can see, it kind of locks when I do my algorithms fast, but uh, during F12 stage, it's not terribly bad. So, overall, the cube isn't bad. Uh, I just don't like the, um, the locking it has. Uh, most GANs puzzle have this problem, so I never really use the GANs puzzles because they usually have this type of wobbling issue that it has. Um, and it's the instability of the cube. But, I think this is good for accurate turners. So, if you're an accurate turner, this will be very, very good for you. Um, it's fast and still controllable at the same time. So if you can accurately turn, I think this cube will be good for you. So yeah guys, that was my review on the GANS uh, 356. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can buy it. Uh, currently, where I know you can buy it is Light Take and the cubicle.us. So I'll link those two in the description and maybe more if I find any other places that sell it. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.